Hi there, um, I'm Nick Guiney. I am a postulant here at Moreau Seminary. I spent the last three years over at Old College across the lake, and I'll be graduating in May with uh, a degree in philosophy and theology. Uh, hi, I'm Colin King. Um, I'm a 27-year-old um, postulant. Um, I spent three years in uh, consulting before I came here to Moreau. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying my uh, first year so far. Great, the transition's been uh, a real blessing. I've really enjoyed being here and being surrounded by a great uh, and lively faith community. There's 16 members of our postulant class, uh, including myself, so it's large, but uh, we're a dynamic group who gets along, and um, I'm really challenged by you guys and really grateful for uh, my time here together uh, with you and finishing up my studies. My transition's been interesting. I, uh, I, like I mentioned, I spent three years uh, working um, and consulting in Chicago, um, and it's, it's definitely been just that, a transition to, uh, to being here. But um, it's really been um, outstanding, a real blessing, I think. When I think about you know, the first three and a half months, um, some of the things that I think about are the guys. Um, we've got a really outstanding crew of 16 guys here, like Nick said. Um, very holy, very faith-filled, um, the kind of guys that push you to be better. Um, and I, I think about the lifestyle. Um, we, we live a kind of a great life of prayer. Um, you know, we wake up, go to Mass, um, have morning prayer, evening prayer every day. Um, and that's really been um, very fulfilling for me because that was just not an opportunity that I, I really had um, kind of out in the consulting space. Um, and then I, I think the biggest, uh, not the biggest, but another big thing for me has um, been the opportunity to get back into the classroom here at Notre Dame um, and take philosophy courses. I, I've taken a number of courses this semester that have um, really helped me uh, to paint a better picture of uh, my past and kind of my present, my future, and um, understand my vocation story um, and, and really where I'm going in the future. Good question. Um, and I, I would say that um, that kind of touches back to the last question. I think uh, my greatest challenge has actually been the transition um, from you know one pretty different lifestyle to another pretty different lifestyle. Um, I think you know when you kind of measure up your life against the standards of the world, um, what I was doing before made a lot of sense. Um, you know things were good. I, I lived in Lincoln Park in Chicago. Um, for a couple of years, I lived with one of my best buddies. Um, the past year, I, I lived with my sister. Um, was able to do a number of fun things, concerts, restaurants. Um, and like coming to life here, which is a little bit more structured, a little bit more intentional, um, has overall, it's really been amazing. But um, there definitely have been some growing pains. Um, and I think you know, what, I, what I've learned most is like with transition, you have some high highs and you have some low lows. And so the key is to kind of capture the joy from the high highs and um, just maintain steady throughout the lows. And um, always, I, I, what really helps me to do that is um, just maintaining a strong prayer life. So. Um, So I think similar to Colin, uh, the transition from old college to Moreau was a little tough um, and was definitely like the biggest challenge for me. Coming from a small intentional community from 10 to 12 guys to a larger intentional community of 40 guys spanning a wide uh, range of ages has definitely been a challenge for me, but it's re been a real blessing because I have to seek out community more intentionally than I did during my time in old college. So I'd have to stop by Colin's room or one of the other guys' room and see if they want to hang out or uh, study together, or do some work. Um. I think when I think about uh, the greatest joys from uh, being here, I'd, I'd say there are two things that stand out. Um, and the first is the guys that are here. Um, it's just a really solid cast of characters. Um, 
just really, really good people, really holy people, um, and really different people as well. Um, you know, you, you learn something from everyone. Um, and and you're, yeah, you're always, you're always learning from the guys. And, and I think kind of the most um, important and probably most obvious joy um, is just having the time to really build a strong relationship with God. Um, I think one of the biggest blessings for me coming to Moreau has been uh, my room on the second floor. I, uh, I have, you know, my, you know, my room is, it's like two rooms. I've got a desk um, and a couple chairs and then you have your, your bedroom. But um, it's about 20 feet away from a balcony that uh, overlooks the chapel. And uh, whether it's, you know, when I get back from class or whether it's, you know, you know, five minutes before I go to bed every night, I'm 20 steps away from stepping into a chapel and um, just being able to check in with God on, on how my day is going, um, thank Him for joys, talk to Him about any concerns. Um, so, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of joy from being here so far. How about you, Nick? Yeah, I think similar to you, a great joy has been uh, this rhythm of prayer we've gotten into. And um, having been in Old College, I was pretty familiar with it. But I think here it's uh, a little earlier. Uh, Mass is in the morning instead of somewhere on campus during the day. But, you know, it's been really awesome to start our day with Mass and with morning prayer. And that prayer has definitely been a great joy. And I think connected to that as well, especially in, in mornings where I'm having a rough morning or I'm stressed with school, going down to the chapel and um, seeing all of us in there, it's really inspiring to see like 40 plus uh, men in there uh, in a whole span of ages, um, praying, starting our day together, and like being willing to be here in this intentional community and serve God and His church. And it's really inspiring to me. And it's definitely been like the, one of the greatest joys of my time in formation. Yeah, I think uh, one obvious answer, uh, one obvious piece of advice for you guys would be to pray. But I think you should also um, maybe tell a priest you know or a friend you know that you trust and um, explore this option or explore this idea with them. For me, uh, talking to a friend who is also discerning um, the priesthood was really uh, influential in my um, discernment. Just talking out with him, seeing the similarities and differences and our discernment was uh, really helpful. So I, I would encourage you to do that. How about you, Colin? Nick, similar to, to your response, um, set aside time for prayer. Um, I think when I was discerning, um, I, I had a challenging time uh, cutting out time for prayer. I was either traveling or you know, you'd have you know, 12, 13 hour work days where it would just be tough to find the headspace um, and the space to, to pray. So just really finding some time to be silent, um, kind of feel what's going on inside of you. And once you've been able to do that, um, just trust your gut, trust your instincts, um, believe that you know, God's guiding you where he needs to go or where, where you need to go. Um, I've kind of always found that you, know, you can forge ahead and plan on your own, but um, when you give God room to work in your life, um, things always work out better than when you try to go ahead on your own. So if you have any questions or need to talk, talk to or feel free to contact one of our vocation directors. Know that um, we're praying for you.